Good evening and welcome to the worst week of Donald Trump's life so far. Donald Trump's best hope of a get-out-of-jail-free card was Joe Biden losing the presidential campaign. Joe Biden is not losing the presidential campaign. No one knows what will happen in November, but the Biden re-election campaign is fired up and on offense. Joe Biden forcefully answered the pundits who say he is too old in his State of the Union last night. 32 million potential voters watched his speech, likely the biggest audience either presidential candidate will command before the conventions. The campaign announced it is rolling out a new $30 million TV ad blitz. Joe Biden and Kamala Harris will visit all six battleground states this month, starting today. My lifetime has taught me to embrace the future. I mean it sincerely, freedom, democracy, a future based on the core values that have defined America, honesty, decency, fairness, equality, yeah. just treating people just fairly. No, I really mean it. We don't always live up, but that, that, that's the American creed. Donald Trump sees the story differently. He sees a story of resentment, revenge, retribution. I ask today, Arizona, are you ready to make your voices heard? Do we trust women? Do we believe in reproductive freedom? Do we believe in the promise of America? Are we ready to fight for it? And when we fight, we win. Joe Biden has a professional campaign operation. Joe Biden has the pomp and power of the presidency at his disposal. Joe Biden has money to spend on being reelected. And Donald Trump? Donald Trump watched every minute of the president's State of the Union. You know that because he was ranting all night on his janky social media site, including, he's so cra angry and crazy. Okay, old man, settle down. Donald Trump is angry about President Biden's speech, which the Biden campaign felt so good about, it immediately turned it into an ad. I know the American story. Again and again, I've seen the contest between competing forces in the battle for the soul of our nation. Between those who want to pull America back to the past and those who want to move America to the future. The issue facing our nation isn't how old we are, it's how old are our ideas. Hate, anger, revenge, retribution are the oldest of ideas. I see a future where defending democracy, we don't diminish it. I see a future where we restore the right to choose and protect our freedoms. Where the middle class has finally has a fair shot and the wealthy have to pay their fair share in taxes. I see a future where we save the planet from the climate crisis and our country from gun violence. Above all, I see a future for all Americans. I see a country for all Americans. And I will always be president for all Americans. So let's build the future together. Let's remember who we are. We are the United States of America. Donald Trump is angry because of these reviews. In your face, Biden takes on Trump and his own doubters. State of the Union shows there's life in the old boy yet. Biden electrifies Democrats, spars with Republicans in fiery State of the Union address. Biden silences the doubters. And so much for Sleepy Joe. Jonathan Alter, who has questioned whether Biden should run again, said today, quote, Biden proved that he has the strength, endurance, and mental agility to be an effective president. The president didn't just clear the senility bar, he demolished it. And here are the most important reviews. Voters in battleground states. We got a little pep in his step. You know, the uh, old school joke around Biden was there. And uh, it was good to see that he uh, is ready for this election. He clearly is totally with it. I just thought he nailed it. I saw energy and I loved his ad-libbing. I just thought he punched back 
like he should have. He was powerful. He got his point across, and he's doing a good job. He stood strong. He looked like a president. And uh, that's what we needed. I thought that um, Joe Biden, Uncle Joe, as I like to call him, came off very vivacious, which was important to him and important uh, to everybody. I think President Biden delivered the strongest speech of his that I might have ever seen. Um, he, he, he came out swinging and, and he did not hold back. And, and, and I, I, I couldn't disagree with almost anything that he said. I would rather have a president with 81 years behind him than 91 counts ahead of him. I thought that Joe Biden was absolutely amazing. He stood up for himself. He stood up for decency, honesty, and for the American public. He was great. Super energetic, stayed organized, kept delivering punch after punch, saying things that I wanted to hear him say without being, you know, too combative. He delivered. He showed uh, that his uh, age is not going to be an issue for him. He has the mental capacity to engage anyone and answer questions on the spot. I think he did a great job. He, he made his point. He got across to a lot of people. I think he did a great job. I really do. He might be a little elderly, but he's sane and he's a kind man. The other one, he is old. He's old too, but he's crazy and dangerous. Donald Trump is finally being hoisted by his own petard. It will be pretty hard for the reality TV persona who shoved himself in Americans' faces for decades, including every tweet during his four years in office, to convince voters he's something else. And if the humiliation of President Biden's successful State of the Union wasn't enough today, Donald Trump finally had to pay. He posted a nearly $92 million bond for lying about sexually assaulting E. Jean Carroll. That is Donald Trump being punished. That is Donald Trump being held accountable. That is Donald Trump being bound by the law like everyone else. Yes, it's a bond and he's in the process of appealing, but it marks the end of Trump's effort to delay, deny, and try to break the system to evade justice. And it's only the beginning. Just 17 days from today, the civil fraud judgment of $454 million plus interest comes due, coincidentally, perhaps poetically, the same day as his criminal trial is scheduled to start in New York. Donald Trump is showing voters he is angry and crazy every day. He is grubbing for money under the weight of civil judgments. And he just installed his daughter-in-law as the head of the Republicans' National Campaign Committee. 241 days until Election Day. Today was a very bad day for Donald Trump. But there are almost certainly worse days for him ahead.